So it's no secret that our society loves, loves, loves true crime. Your next binge is right here. Death and other details on Hulu. I'm talking with the star, Violet Bean. Good morning, Violet. Hi, how's it going? I'm very well. How are you? I'm great. I'm in rainy LA, so I'm just cozied up in, in my house right now. Oh, that's better than here. It's freezing cold. We're getting ice this afternoon in Indianapolis, so I'd rather be there. But what is Death and Other Details about? Um, Death and Other Details is your next murder mystery. I mean, it's so fun. It's enthralling. It's mysterious. It's It's got twists and turns that you will not expect. And your your first episode, you get to throw a cup at Mandy Patinkin, Tony winner, Emmy winner. I just laughed so hard when I saw that. What was it like working with him and doing that crazy scene? Yeah, I mean, that was insane because I fully didn't throw anything. I mean, it's just my hand going like this and then they CGI'd the rest. But um, I mean, working with Mandy was was crazy, right? The guy's a legend. He's he's uh, he's been doing this for so long and he's so seasoned and and just a really skilled actor. So you just, you naturally learn from that as well, just working a, like in a scene with him. Um, but it was, yeah, it was really fun. It really was. Yeah. And tell us more about your character, Imogene. Uh, she has a very complicated relationship with Mandy's character. She does. Yes, she does. She's, um, you know, she's, she's somebody who's very opinionated and she's somebody that's a bit lost when we meet her. Um, because she doesn't feel like she's found her purpose. And I think that for me, that's the most relatable part about her. There's people in their 20s is usually when it happens, your 30s, but it can happen at any point when you feel like you don't really know what it is you want to do with your life. And I think that's what's so enticing about her is we get to see her sort of come into her own and figure out what does make her tick and what makes her excited about life. And and for her, unfortunately, that's sort of through this path of Mandy's character. Um, but you kind of get to see their relationship blossom throughout the season. Yeah. And speaking of Tony winners, uh, we have another Lauren Patton who plays your best friend. I had the absolute pleasure of seeing her in Jagged Little Pill in New York before the pandemic. And just an explosive performance there. She's amazing here, too. What was it like building that relationship with her? Man, not seeing her in that is my biggest regret. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, she's beautiful. She's fascinating. She's so intelligent. Um, I have nothing but kind words for Lauren. I think that she's such a great actor, and I think she brings so much to her character. And the way that we get to play off each other is so fun throughout the season. And and the way that you know it ends is is wild. So I'm looking forward to you guys seeing that. Yeah. And the other details part is so specific because you should not be doing anything else when you're watching this show. I remember in the first episode, they're going through, okay, here's this person, here's this person, here's this person. You need to know all of these people. So make sure you're paying attention. What was it like bringing this incredible ensemble together? It was so fun. Every single person brought brought everything, you know, like everyone was so grateful to be there. Everyone had so many ideas for their character. And during the pilot, uh, after we finished, we all uh, received information from the creators, but only about our own character. They told us sort of the entire arc for the season per character, so but not about each other. And so it's just fascinating to see at the very end watching the show to see how everyone intricately webbed their character together and and yeah i i loved everybody on the show yes and uh mandy's detective he's like the old school detective but you're also playing detective in the show with him did you draw from any previous like famous detectives like sherlock holmes eric q perot uh, the glass onion and knives out detective yeah you know for me i think the biggest inspiration was columbo just because he's sort of this like guy that shouldn't be doing it um and that's imogen for sure um and his little tagline one more thing um that sort of inspired imogen's tagline of she says gross every time she sees something that's just like too much for her to handle or like doesn't make sense so she's like for me i see it as why am i here right now <laughs> and uh yeah so that was definitely an inspiration and this is definitely one that I know I could binge in one sitting, but I appreciate the week by week rollout so we can keep it in our minds and keep it percolating and trying to figure out who did it, who did it, and just coming back. What do people need to know before they watch the show on Hulu? The only thing you need to know is like, buckle up. I mean, there's so many twists and turns and you, I guarantee you will not expect the ending. I can't wait to see it. I have not seen the ending, so I'm very excited. Make sure you watch Death and Other Details on Hulu on Tuesdays. Thanks a lot, Violet. Thank you. 
Can't believe we're gonna be trapped on this thing for 10 days. I'm so sorry I dragged you into this. Pay attention. If you want to solve a crime, you must first learn to see through the illusion. Details matter. Yesterday, one of our guests was murdered. You gotta be kidding me! This watch is worth more than you make in a year. Somebody has to do something. It doesn't always have to be you, though. But I'm so good at it. We've increased security throughout the ship to keep everyone safe. And we're fortunate to have a world-renowned detective on board, Mr. Rufus Coatsworth. Oh, my God. Should I introduce myself? In 24 hours, Interpol lands on this ship, and you will be their only suspect. I didn't kill him. I want to help you, Miss Scott. Anyone on this ship could have killed the victim. But why? I will be questioning you individually. Tell me about your interactions with the victim. I never met him. The man was a buffoon. Hey, hey, hey! Where were you between midnight and 8 a.m.? My grandmother won't be happy. I did not say that. Who told you that? Preposterous. Do not make an enemy of us. No alibi, then. Excuse me. You're good at this. You already knew everything that I have just figured out. It's more fun when you unravel it yourself. What do you need me to do? You need me to spy. I need you to trust me. There are forces at play that you cannot comprehend. There are billions on the line. It's a puzzle. We have what we need to solve it. Now we make the pieces fit. The jokes on you. attention <laughs> details matter what have we learned a lot just not you know who done it